Virgo. It is your friend Dharma Jane here to do your monthly spread, tarot spread for the month of September 2018. All the information you need for me is in the description boxes below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Calling in guides, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good. Here's stuff. All right. Past, present, future. So we did have one jumper card. Oh, two jumpers. Yay. Look here, Virgo, right around your season, we have um, a lot of fast movement about something new and special and tangible. I mean, that's a big fat ace of earth, favorite card. Love my stags. But this is, I mean, Sometimes I call it Cupid's arrows, but I don't feel that. I feel like this is an indication of like coin falling. What's that? Oh my God, I love her. A uh, House of Oshun. She talks about the coin of value, right? No, or the door of value. And this what this looks like? Looks like that. Looks like coin is falling. And right here is your big Ace of Earth. Like you know, when you see this stag pop up, it's like I have arrived. Here I am. And then, you know, the stag is really majestic. I mean, imagine being a, walking in the woods and like that showed up. That would be really special. So I feel like whatever this is, it's special and it's happening like now. Or, well, that's the theme. I want to say that. So, recent pass. Two, three. And we have a base. Okay. So. Recent past, we are looking at Virgo made the choice to move on from something they were tired of fighting over, or I, you know, maybe not even fighting, but being def you know defending, because here you know there there was there was happiness. This was supposed to be the happiness. You have you know the Buddha. You have, that's the Ten of Cups, you have this offer of love, but this is, you know, when you see the Knight of Cups in reverse, that's your player, that's player energy, but here you have, there's just this real innocence about this, or how it was supposed to be, but that's, with the Five of Earth, it's like looking in on what this could be, and here's the sharp reality with the Knight of Earth of what it actually is or was because this is the recent past, right? So this innocent thing that you love very much, you know, here we are making a choice with the six of air, whether or not, you know, do we stay? I mean, do we, do we still even want to fight for this? Whatever this is, and this is juggling the practicality of the entire situation. What's the six of air, please? Oh, that's your ace of, whoa, no kidding. Ace of Pentacles. See, this is being un unsure. And over here, this is that's kind of exactly what I was talking about. Like, I don't know. This this could be, should be, is it, but I'm not really sure. And what if the reality sucks? You know, maybe we're scared. Not, you know, timid or just un unsure. Be but 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 the sun is there, you know. But you have to work for it. I mean, it has to be worked for. This is something that if we're unsure about whether or not we're going to give up the putting in the good fight with the Three of Pentacles, I mean, you have to do the work. Because in your um, kind of right now, you have some stuff happening. In your base, you have the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's like... This is like trying to manifest yourself out of lack because I do feel a sense of lack for some Virgos here in the present because look at all these cards in reverse. You know, you have whatever this is, this feeling of lack. I mean, this is this is connected to heartache. It doesn't make you feel good at all. And then you have, see, you also have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And then the Ace of Wands in reverse. So that's like, 
I just don't feel like it's being on. This is kind of like, I like I when I use the fairy cards, there's this one called the gloomy doom. And it's like m manifesting lack because of a thought process. You know, I'm not saying that being heartbroken or being unsure is, I mean, it's your, what I'm saying is, is that negative thoughts create negative manifestations. That's what I'm saying. What's this ace of fire, please? See, that's holding on to this, to this what if, and what if I do this and it doesn't work out? What if I do this thing and I end up, <laughs> and I end up accidentally falling off this cliff here? But that's, that's the devil talking, right? That what if, and maybe you don't do it, don't do it. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. That's the devil talking. That's not even real. You know, but these are all, there's, it's like there's these, all these beautiful cards with all of this, with this something negative over top of it. And I think it's thoughts because coming up in your near future, we've got, look at that right. There's the devil, but this time he's in reverse because here's victory. I think that. I kind of feel, I feel like I, I wanted to say you, you get mad because here's this queen of fire in reverse. And usually when I see people, I would say it was somebody else in your life, but I don't, I feel like this is like being fired up and getting all, you know, feisty about whatever it is that we're trying to do here. And that's how you get your victory because in your base, I mean, you're, this is letting it go. This is taking all of the burden and just like literally lighting them on fire and not waiting to do so because you have the king of cups and the world in reverse. It's like how much delay. So if we're talking about a love situation here, you know, hanging on to what if it doesn't work out? This is like, take those burdens and just light them on fire and go ahead and give it a, give it a try because something isn't over. I don't, I, I didn't want to say that, then I did, then I didn't, but I really feel that something is not over. So it's like, maybe this temptation is something like, you should leave or you should run away or you should, or you're not good enough and this is never going to work out. But then, but then you're like, you know what? Yes, I am good enough. Yes, I am smart enough and I can stay this. I don't have to quit. I feel like this is about quitting. Who is this queen of fire, please? See? This is somebody who's willing to try to bring cups back to cups that are empty or to bring sustenance back to cups that are empty. I mean, right? If we go back to this, this is fast. That's coin falling. That's, that's things coming, filling these cups back up and bringing that happiness back. And you have this queen of fire and like this, you know, somebody is unhappy clearly, but somebody also has the fire to fight for whatever it is that this is. And I think spirit is like, don't wait. You know, the, these Kings are in reverse. The world is in reverse. This is a cycle that just keeps going around and around and around. So I kind of feel like there's like two different groups of Virgos here. One that really wants to leave the relationship because they're connected like by karmic energy. And another one that is willing to fight for it because they have to work on it. So for whichever you are. 
um, hopefully, I just want to get another card. I just don't feel like, see, if you don't want, okay, this is the five of pentacles in reverse. If, if you don't want exited, then, then this offer, this angry, this angry queen of pentacles, queen of, uh, uh, wands needs to to turn into like more of this knight of pen knight of cups who has something to offer all of these empty cups and then this feeling of being left out feeling of lack here's this manifesting lack and here's this other lack card that's bringing it back to the surface all right virgo that's what i have for you so until next time, everything you need about me is in the box below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.